Hi there. This is another uh, channel slash life related update and it's uh, following on from the update um, we posted at the end of March. And if you haven't already seen that, you, I'll try and put a link about there uh, to so you can go and see that. But the short version of that update was that on top of having a very rough 2020 for some pretty obvious reasons that also slowed us down an awful lot on uh, attempting to fit out the boat. Eight months ago, M was diagnosed with breast cancer and that hit us very, very hard. I am happy to be able to say though, um, I have better news this time, um, which is a big relief. Um, yeah, the last five months haven't been easy. Uh, but we we got M through her chemotherapy. She had her surgery at the end of July, and just recently we've actually had the results back uh, for the tests that they generally do after a surgery like this. And the news is good, and it's it's pretty close to being as good as it can possibly be in this kind of a circumstance. There was a millimetre left of the actual cancer, which means that Emma responded to the chemotherapy really well, and all, all the other checks that they did all looked good. They took a fair amount out around the cancer, so that shouldn't be a problem, and her chances were already looking pretty good, and they're now looking very good indeed. We are pretty much in the best position we could possibly be after what we've gone through. It's kind of difficult to express exactly how much of a relief this has been because, yeah, it, I mean, there are ways in which the last eight months could have been harder, but the, they have not been easy and it, it has been very rough on M and uh, there's always been the possibility that, that we could like go through that and then there could be extra complications because this is, this is the kind of situation where complications can happen quite easily. But um, yeah, w w the news is good and we're in a really, really good position now. It's not over, <laughs> you know, I mean, the news is great, but like, for example, M is still gonna have uh, radiotherapy happening. That's gonna be happening in October. And uh, the actual appointments are like only gonna be like 15 minutes each but she's got to do like she's got to do them five days a week for three weeks so obviously that's not that's not going to be a small thing and after that there's a drug called Herceptin that she that she was uh, being given at the same time as her chemotherapy to help with the specific kind of cancer that this is uh well this was i guess god it's nice to be able to talk about it in the past tense and that's going to be happening every three weeks um, from there until about May. We're hoping that, we, that it'll actually be possible for um, most of those to be able to be done at home because, you know, having, having to do three weekly trips to the hospital, I mean, you know, if you have to do it, you do it, but if there's a way of avoiding it, it would be very nice. But yeah, so we're still going to be doing stuff relating to this until May, whatever happens. And even even once that's done, you know, even once that's over, it's not like we're going to be able to forget that this happened and sort of go, oh yes, that's completely over, we can just totally leave that behind, because this is the kind of thing where it's not impossible that there could be a recurrence. I mean, the, ch the chances that M has now are really, really good. You know that they are. I mean, I mean, uh, with the way that she's responded to the chemo, and just with with all the tests and everything that they've, they've they've said, we are in a really really good position. But it's not like it's not like it's now guaranteed that it'll never come back, or or, or that, that that we'll never have to worry about anything like this again. Yeah, it's kind of it's something that we're just going to have to deal with going forward, really. And and to be honest. Dealing with that going forward and just basically sort of like crossing our fingers that nothing else comes up um, is a hell of a lot better than anything else we were going to end up with. Um, so, so yeah, so that's, 
yeah, it's 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 a com it's a complicated situation, but um, but but it's very very oh, it's so good just to be at a point where we can actually genuinely plan the next six months now in terms of being able to think about okay, M's. Hopefully, like I, I mean, she's she's already feeling, she's already doing better, and she's already recovering. But like, I mean, she's got because it was a fairly major surgery, so there's still a bit of recovery to go. But it's <laughs> it's nice being able to just plan for the future, really. And in terms of what that future is looking like, um, I've been doing an awful lot of uh, freelance work at points over the last few months because. Obviously, I've had to I've had to look after M lots, and because I work from home, you know that's dovetailed together quite nicely in terms of just just uh, at various points just concentrating on earning as much money as I can. Um, I've still done some boat work. I mean, we, we've made some progress. I, I've mainly been working on my own, and I have been able to get some stuff done. But um, obviously, it's been limited, and I've actually been able to get it sorted out so that. Now that we're getting into September and October, I'm going to be able to spend September and October completely concentrating on the boat and uh, just trying to get an awful lot done. Um, especially because there's some jobs that I've been... Well, the, there are jobs on the exterior of the boat that have been put off for a long time. For too long, basically. There's, there's stuff that we've really kind of should have done two years ago that we didn't and it got put off until the start of 2020 and then <laughs> and then the start of 2020 happened and suddenly we had to put them off even further because it just wasn't practical to do those things so because September and October are usually pretty good in terms of weather um, you know there might be rainy days but the the, the clear days that we get won't be too hot and will just facilitate being able to get stuff done. So I've got a roadmap of things that I want to be able to get done by the end of October, and I don't know if I'll get everything done. I mean, one thing that this whole project has taught me is that sometimes, sometimes things, sometimes things will happen. <laughs> sometimes, no matter how much you want to have a certain amount of things done by a certain time, it might not work out that way, but um, I want to at least sort of take a hefty chunk out of the road to the, the roadmap I've got for what I want to do and after that we'll see how it goes basically so that's the plan for the next couple of months and hopefully by the end of that we'll have a much better idea of exactly how many jobs are left and we'll then be able to plan over the Christmas period what we'll be able to get done I mean we're in a better situation because we do actually have functioning heating on the boat now, and we have electrics, so we will be able to do work over the winter, and um, yeah, and, 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 and hopefully we'll be in a pretty good situation by, by the beginning of uh, 2022, really. Um, fingers crossed. But yeah, that is, that is our situation, that is our news. I guess, the, yeah, the only, the only other thing um, I wanted to say in this, this that, you know, this this comes from both of us. We just wanted to say a very big thank you to everyone who left comments on the last update. Um, they were all read. They were all very, very much appreciated. It was honestly a bit emotionally overwhelming, <laughs> really, and very, very touching. And um, it's very, very nice that, that you've stuck with us and watch the videos especially considering that how hilariously inactive we've been over the last couple of years for various reasons um we really appreciate it thanks for sticking with us and uh and yes and 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 thank you for thank you for those comments they were they were they were all lovely um and they meant an awful lot so um so yeah <laughs> And that's all we'll say about that. But, um... But, yeah, um... So that's the current update. That's what's happened, and that's where we're going. And thank you for sticking with us, and... Uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back with you soon.